Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. So last week I showed you a preview feature in Dynamics 365 Field Service, which was the new enhanced mobile app. This week, I'm gonna build on that a little bit to show you another preview feature, which is part of that new mobile app for field service. This is actually going to show you Copilot inside of the new mobile app. Don't go anywhere. You can enable the Copilot preview for that enhanced mobile experience from within the Field Service mobile app. So as you can see, I'm logged in here in the Field Service mobile app in my browser, and then I need to go ahead and change the area to settings. And then you'll notice this screen will actually load. So this is actually the one that you want to enable. And you can see here that it says that Copilot for the new mobile experience is only available, obviously, right, when the new mobile experience is enabled. You'll also see that if you don't have the new mobile experience enabled, then the little toggle here to enable Copilot for the new mobile experience will be grayed out. So you're going to need to click that to on and then set that to on as well. And then what you see here is the Copilot recap feature for the mobile application in the unified interface. But we're not going to be talking about that today. So just make sure that you save that and then it's just going to take a couple of minutes for Copilot to be uh, available inside of the new mobile experience in field service. So now let's take a look at those Copilot features here within the new mobile experience. So in order to access Copilot from within the mobile app, you're going to have to open your booking first. So you can see here, I have this booking here on my list from Dewey Square Tower Association. So I'm just going to click on that and then you can see I have that booking open. Then you probably also see that little co-pilot icon on the top of my screen there. So when I click on that, you're going to see, because this is the first time that I'm accessing co-pilot from within the new field service mobile experience, that it's just telling me like, oh, this is a preview. Uh, you can use co-pilot to explore new ways to work smarter with AI generated content, et cetera, et cetera. But what I can then do from here is I can click here on try co-pilot and then you'll see the two different options that we have here. So the first one is summarize and you can see that it already explains a little bit what that summarize feature is, right? So it says review key points in this work order. The way that this works is that when you click on that summarize button, it's actually going to give you a summarization of that booking. And it's going to have details also from the associated work order. So for example, it's gonna use booking information, that data in that column. And if the customer asset column has data in there, it's also going to pull information from that as well. And then it's also going to use information from the work order services task table, the work order services table, and work order products. All of those records or rows, I should say, that are related to this particular work order. Also, if there's skills or characteristics that are associated to this work order, you'll see that information in that summary as well. And work order history related to that customer asset is also being included. Now, lastly, we also have activity details and notes, whether or not that note is related to the work order or the booking, it doesn't matter, uh, but those are also going to be included. So you're going to notice that this is going to make work a lot faster, right? Because as a technician, I don't have to go and dig through the booking, the tasks, the products, 
the uh, work order history, the notes, etc. right? So this is gonna make it a lot faster. So I'm gonna click here and summarize and look at that. That was really, really quick. So it's kind of telling you the work order is for a service call. It's giving me the address. It's giving me the primary incident type and it's going to show me the tasks, right? Those are those work order tasks, arrival checking, gear check, et cetera. The required products, right? Those are those related work order products. Let's see, it's also telling me who the assigned technician is, that's me. I'm scheduled to arrive at 9.45 at 1.12. So it's looking at that estimated arrival time. And then here's that customer asset data i almost want to say right so the customer asset is an hvac unit named dewey <laughs> yes that's the name of that hvac unit and the here's that service history the recent service history of circuit breaker tripping and ac not cooling and i actually put a note on the associated work order and you can see here that it's pulling that in as well <clears throat> that the breaker might might need to be replaced and then you can also see that it now says that the booking is in progress and has a duration of 87 minutes so i thought that was pretty pretty impressive right again it really helps me save a lot of time because i don't have to drill through all of those underlying tables and data points right now let's take a look at the update functionality here within copilot now the name kind of kind of gives it away, right? So this is the part that allows technicians to update data in the mobile app by just talking to Copilot or by just entering information and sending it to Copilot. So technicians will no longer have to navigate through all those different screens and do those updates. So I'm just going to go ahead and click here on update and this is where i can input that information that i want copilot to update now keep in mind that all of these copilots uh, actually understand the natural language input so this means that we can use common phrases right so think about uh, putting something in there like i completed all tasks or i have used this particular product or I finished this booking at 5 p.m., right? Things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click this little microphone icon here. And I'm going to say, I completed all tasks and I used one circuit breaker. I finished this booking at 10.15 a.m. And I'm gonna go ahead and send that to Copilot now. And what will happen is Copilot is actually going to give me a list of suggestions and then I can pick from there which ones I want to happen. So this is that list of those suggested updates. So you can see here, it wants to set my booking status from in progress to complete. It wants to set my end time to 10.15 a.m., right? Because I told him, I told Copilot I was done at 10.15 a.m. Look at that. It actually wants to update that circuit breaker to used. Then it's also wanting to complete all of my tasks because I told Copilot I was done, right, with all of my tasks. So this is pretty cool right and this is going to make uh, the work for those the work in the app i should say the updating of those records in the app so much faster because again i don't have to navigate through all those different screens and if there are certain things that i don't want to do like let's say i don't want to update that booking status yet or the end time i can just uncheck that right i can just say uh, okay i don't want to do those but i do want to do all those other ones, for example, right? I can just go ahead and click confirm here. And those updates will now be made inside of that mobile app. And let's just go ahead and take a look here. If I go to tasks, you can see everything is completed. If I go to products, my circuit breaker 
has actually been used and I didn't say anything about services so that's still there as well now <clears throat> I kind of wanted to give you a, a little bit of information regarding to limitations to the updates that Copilot can do during this preview so the available updates that Copilot can do are uh, the updating of booking statuses and times you just saw that earlier the updating of work order task statuses right to used completing work order services updating work order service durations updating work order product line statuses to used and updating work order product quantities now the other thing that i tried here is i tried to actually add a note to the booking right so so i just went into copilot and i said hey add a note and put this in a note and it doesn't understand that so that's currently just a limitation of this preview i'm hoping that that's going to come later but who knows i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again thanks for watching until next time